you guys cannot prove your assertions to be true. Yet you preach them to children and you indoctrinate them with a one-sided partisan political um, tuition, education, where you lie to them and you do not tell them that there are valid opposing arguments. And that's not just in heliocentrism. That's also in evolution. We didn't evolve from monkeys. You're an absolute moron if you think that evolving from monkeys is what happened. If it did, why did the monkeys not die out? from bloody monkeys you've got to be a moron to think that you've also got to be a moron to think that dna can be constructed without a third party agent of some kind if you accept that dna exists and you accept that the code that, that dna houses holds has to be put together in an order for it to work how does that ordering of dna occur through natural selection. Natural selection isn't intelligence based, it's based on randomness. It's like having a house and having all of the parts of the house, the bricks, the mortar, the sand, the cement, the water, the drain pipes, all cut to the right length, all the eaves cut to the right length, getting them all, all those in individual components and just chucking them all in a pile of bonfire in the middle of the room and then arguing over a period of time eventually many many millions and millions of years they could magically somehow end up being built and you end up in a house <laughs> DNA building block of life has to be assembled in some way by something and we can't do it because we've been trying to do Frankenstein for donkey's years and it's never happened able to do it Nick Firth where did the creator come from the creator's the creator the creator is, the creator is, that is what creation is. Creation is a creator. That creator exists. Where does he come from? Who cares? But cell division meiosis and mitosis and you can watch one cell and it'll just it you call it cell division right but really it's multiplication because you can't divide one into two because that's multiplication so it's weird because you guys think that you can divide by zero and get an error but in real world if you divide by zero you haven't done anything but in real world you can watch one cell and you can watch it divide into two but actually you're multiplying into two cells so that in itself, that process of meiosis and mitosis is literally creation before your very eyes. And you morons deny that. And I'm like, well, what process is doing that then? If it's not creation, what is it? Oh, it's called meiosis or mitosis. Oh, really? So what is it that, what's, what's actually happening? What is it that tells it to, to divide and then suddenly multiply, but you call it divide? What is that process? And it's obvious that when you watch meiosis, mitosis under a, a, a microscope, you can literally see the bacteria or the cells dividing, multiplying, creating all by itself. You know, as if there was nothing telling it to do anything. It was just magically booming into existence. You would call that evolution. I call that intelligent design creation. You literally watch the creation of new. You had one, you've now got two. One divided into two. But now we've got two. So it can't really be called division, can it? It really must be called multiplication or creation. <laughs> 